Hello and welcome to another one of my director's cuts. This time we are revisiting the uh, Three Scots the Black Watch homecoming parade through the very picturesque ancient Scottish city of Perth. Now, I've got to say Scottish city, as many of the comments seem to think it was in Australia. <laughs> I've added some extra footage that's not been seen before in public, I don't think. This is the pipes and drums practicing the song War Saw the 42nd, which is a kind of anthem of Three Scots, the Black Watch Pipes and Drums. Although the now pipe sergeant James Muir tells me Helen Laddie is too. So here's one of the uh, escort vehicles coming through. And a lot of the comments I've had on the original video have been, oh that Perth must be a really nasty place for these vehicles like that. But, come on guys, that's all just part of the show. Ah, here's little uh, Crook in the Fourth, the mascot of the Royal Regiment of Scotland. He's a jaunty little pony, isn't he? Bit of a racket, this. Just getting the fingers moving. Oh, I've had lots of comments about the uh, German market stall and I can assure you guys I really did mean that as the backdrop because I can see the funny side of that too but there were more stalls than just the German one there was a Spanish one with some cracking looking paella that I would have indulged in had I not went to McDonald's in Perth on the way up to get the uh, McDonald's breakfast So the parade's a circular route, and we like circular routes. This is uh, almost the start of the parades. We'll have the march on of the colours, which is what the drum major's going up on his tiptoes to look for that happening. Oh, not long now. I don't know who that guy is with the red shoes on. Lots of comments about him too. So that was a double time version of Scotland the Brave. First song was going to be the Athol Islanders. of my channel will realise I do like to follow the band from start of parade to end of parade. And I like to get the spectators in as well. So the guy 
guy who's right up at the Pony Crooking just now is official photographer of the army. So he is allowed to mingle with the ranks. as well as the Athol Highlanders, we seem to have the Glendoral Highlanders in here as well. Which when sung, is Campbell to me That guy's a big YouTuber. Look at here. A long conversation with him in the Mar media. Another guy I'll point out. So I posted this video on the day of the parade, um, it's had 2.8 million views for this one I think, before the dreaded content ID copyright system gubbed it. Now I do criticise for not showing the soldiers enough. Very picturesque city is Perth in Scotland. Drum major signal and start of the next song, which is The Green Hills of Tyrol. Now, this song's causing a bit of a problem with the YouTube content ID system despite being an ancient song, hundreds of years old oh there's Baymar video there Baymar Media, sorry um, it has been claimed as copyright of TuneCore or CD Baby or something like that courtesy of the Basel military tattoo well, this is Scotland this is the Black Watch Oh, there's the old salt veteran standing at attention. Lots of people love that bit. I've seen lots of comments on it. But see, I didn't notice it on the day. Um, you're just kind of concentrating, watching you fall and get in people's roads. I really don't like to get in people's roads, I realise. They've got every right to get as good a photo or video as you. This song, The Green Hills of Tyrol, is also known as a Scottish soldier. So I think I'm going to be uh, crossing the road soon. Getting right in front of the drum major and crossing without getting anywhere near the band at all. Flowers, of the whole city. So this was the 16th of September 2018. And so, kind of definitely into autumn. So that guy uh, right in front of me is now the 
Snipe Sergeant of B Scots the Black Watch. I realise bands normally have a drum major and a pipe major. Majors shown as four um, chevrons, stripes, but James has only got three. So that makes him a sergeant, pipe sergeant. Only two colours for three Scots of Black Watch. I noticed from a video I was looking at yesterday, which was two Scots, the Royal Highland Fusiliers. They've got three flags as part of their colours. I like these turns, it gives me a chance to catch up. Folks, I do try and catch the soldiers, there's the proof. Next song up, I do believe, is Healing Laddie. It is indeed. Now, that song uh, in YouTube's content ID system is banned in 260 countries, and the whole of the video gets banned if it notices that that song is in this video. So that's why I'll be doing a lot of talking over this one. I think this is where I try and cross the road. Um, don't know who that guy is. Um, that's Mark, the army photographer. So now we're at the side with the uh, pipe major. In fact, should I sneak in beside a little crook in here for a little bit because it gets a bit tight and I think all the vans and stuff like that parked at the side of the road um, which is even with my monopod pretty difficult to um, video over the top of them so the camera I'm using here is a Panasonic Lumix DMC uh, 2000 I used to have the 1000, I still do have the 1000, uh, but I bought the 2000 when it came out. Because it. Oh, change song. The Black Bear. I love the way the uh, pipe, the drummers get involved. With the yeehaw! Marking the thick of it. Black Bear and Scotland the Brave. Again, two songs that Content ID will jump on. This whole video, from start to finish, never used to have any copyright claims at all when I first posted it. They just appeared. The YouTube are just getting overzealous in this copyright stuff. So there's Braemar Media at the front, doing his walking backwards. That's his style he likes to lead from the front of the parade. He is official media dude. There's a lot of work for STV, got a cracking YouTube and Facebook channel. And he's a good guy. So that's the end of this song. not missed a beat since the start of this parade. Big drummer, aka bass drummer. Here we go again. Began. It's Warsaw at the 40 seconds. It was the 40 second Highlanders. So this is St John Street. I've never been in Perth, uh, just passed through it before, but I've never actually walked in about the city centre. I was really impressed by all the places. 
another bit that people talk about a lot in the comments is just about to come up, and that is the, uh, the veterans. Um, try to be as respectful as possible and possible and pass behind the veterans. So the old guy shouts, "Veterans salute!" as the troops all perform an eyes right. That must have been like the uh, provost of Perth, or the mayor, or the, uh, the gold chain on. He'd bummer anyway. So you'll notice that Crookin here has got two stripes, so this is uh, him being promoted from Lance Corporal to Corporal. And I was talking to the Pony Major Mark, who's with him. Um, during well, Armed Forces Day in Stirling, I think it was, and Crookin became the corporal as the opening of the Queen's Ferry Crossing, which was attended by the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh. Everybody loves little Crookin. We're near the end of St John Street and we're turning into the uh, where we started basically back to the uh, German sausage stall. Other stalls are available. Tune wise, we're back to the start as well. The Athol Highlanders and the Glendoral Highlanders. goes on. Until the road closed. Our wee boys helping out Mark, the uh, official army photographer. There's we cooking now. Yeah, there's the, the, the food stalls and the fun fair for the kids of the troops. So we get a little um, 
thing from home. Winnie? Huh? I know you from what group in here. So nearing the end of the parade now. And the beat goes on. ready for the double speed Scotland the Brave Again, the way the soldiers here. for watching.